uh, going up one nothing here in our best of three. But I still say it's anyone's series. All right, we do see uh, pretty pretty standard comps out of these two teams. We do see a, a Winston and a Reinhardt coming in out of the side of of meta though, and that might actually make a difference. They they seem to be, and uh, you know you you cannot fault them for that. When you're able to deny damage, it can very much help you win these team fights. Yeah, and Invictus gonna be the first one to fall. Oh, going down as well. Now with both tanks gone, not really any sort of ability for the side of Prismatic to push in and, and get any sort of kills here. And yeah, slowly but surely, they are all going to fall. And that's going to be the first point taken by the side of meta. My tactical visor is charging. And they start building up that percentage. My ultimate is charging. Now coming back in, we do see Prismatic trying to get regrouped here, and they're going to push right in. They have Ramon onto the uh, Reinhardt now. Uh, he's going to get that kill onto Justin, and actually getting the kill onto Terra as well, removing both tanks single-handedly. User, however, has that Resurrect available, but uh, I don't think it's going to be enough, as too much damage has already been done here. Uh, Invictus is going to fall, but I don't think that that's going to be enough to make it happen here. But while now, actually, Lucy and Ramon both taken down there by a couple of good ultimates from... <laughs> the side of uh, of meta now a sound barrier coming out as well and they are looking like they're going to be able to hold on here although lucy is back out here or sorry this is, that's easy. what am i saying both teams just brawling it out we see the earth shatter coming in now from ramon though as he returns to the point but this entire time this objective has been in the control of meta so they are still holding on here lucy does get that double res just to put her team back at six uh but yeah that's gonna be the point taken by the side of prismatic but 78 percent built up for meta so now all they have to do is push back in and and retake the point really maybe win one more fight off nix oh looks like phoenix Anyways, maybe uh, pushing back in here, Terra coming up on the Earth Shatter, but going to be met by Ramon and Invictus at the door, not going to be able to push forward without his team there just yet. We do see Llama up on the high ground, trying to land some damage, but Blubber has this tack visor as well. Uh, we see Justin going down as well as Terra, so with that, that's pretty much the end of the fight. User does have this Resurrect, might come in and use it, there it is! User picks up four with it, uh, so they might be able to turn this around. There's the sound barrier in the wake of it as well. The Earth Shatter not really picking up much, but it's going to be Dean, Sinlalo, and Victus all taken down here. Lucy now needs to turn the fight around with as her. Oh, there's five! She saw the three man res and it's all mid. Lucy coming in with one of her own. There's the Graviton in the back of it. The, uh, Wow, the Dragon Blade not able to follow up that much, though, only getting one kill. And so this right here, but yes, it is going to be Prismatic coming out on top of that fight and continuing to control it. 75% and counting for them right now. No ults on the board for either team, though. Although we do see both Terra and Ramon getting close to their Earth Shatter. Terra gets it, gets it first, and he's going to be coming in. Hoping to set up the victory for this uh, team fight right here. But no, only going to be knocking down Ramon. I don't know if that's going to be enough. But we do see Blubber taken down here. Ramon gets his own Earth Shatter off, though, taking down two with it. So still, an even fight breaking out on the point. Both teams at four. And now we see the, the final brawl coming in. Llama with that attack visor, though, is going to be able to put some damage. But no, Lucy coming in, picking up two. Both of her tanks back in this fight. The Pulse Bomb is getting thrown onto Invictus. He's not able to do anything with that mech. But they are still getting these kills. Still an even fight on this point. Two for both teams. Three for both teams. No! User coming in with the Resurrect. That one comes in absolutely massive. We do see Attack Visor coming in from Blubber. But I don't know if it's going to be enough to kill anyone. He's taken down very, very low himself. We 
are still still seeing this fight. Optix takes down Blubber. We do see Sinlalo on the point, just trying to stay alive. He's almost up to that sound barrier of his own. He's got it. He's gonna be able to. No, he doesn't get it off there. So now it's just up to his normal team's health. They need to get this resurrect up, but no, Lucy's gonna be taken down. Dini taken down. Invictus out of the mech, and that is going to be the point taken back here. I'm solo shatters Kyle. That just that just feels personal, man. But they take the point back, 80% on the board now, and they're gonna be coming back in with a couple of ults. Holy cow, that sound barrier, or that, that, that Earth Shatter would have been really, really good to have here to go along with this sound barrier and the Dragon Blade. Offnix with the Pulse Bomb, looking for a chance to use it, but I don't know. We, we do see the sound barrier coming in from Sonalo. They're gonna get on the point. Dini with his Dragon Blade, looking for it. He's gonna pull it out. No, he doesn't pull it out. He got, he got pinned, he got pinned. Now the self-destruct coming in does take down Terra. These kills are favoring Prismatic right now, but user with the resurrect, there it is, picking up three. Lucy's so close to her own resurrect, but she's not gonna survive. Llama's gonna take her down. It is now up to the tanks here of Prismatic to keep their team alive. They've got no heals and Blubber's gonna get booped off the map. They have nothing left for damage here. Ramon is gonna be taken down. We do see the Dragon coming out finally, but Dean gonna be taken down by the swinging Reinhardt hammer. And this is Meta holding on to the point, getting all of these kills they need. Invictus out of the mech, last one to fall, and that is gonna be it. The first point, the first point of this map going over to Meta. But on to the well. And it looks like Optic is going to be switching onto the Pharah here rather than staying on the Tracer. Uh, Dini playing the Diva actually, uh, and Invictus onto the, the Soldier here. Getting that kill onto Optic right off the bat, probably going to be a pretty clear sign. Swap off. Now getting the kill onto Justin as well. Already we're seeing Invictus going off, but Dini... Did Dini just fall in? What's happening? Invictus getting the third kill though. Taking out Kyle, and that is absolutely what his team needed to turn this around. Prismatic taking control of this point early on. Uh, kind of a wasted ultimate there by Blubber. Trying to get the stick out onto Llama, but not able to get it. And now not going to have that ultimate available for this next push. So. A little bit dicey ult management here coming out from Prismatic. They're kind of just throwing stuff out from time to time, but you know, here we go. Uh, coming back in for the regroup is me meta. Terra has this Earth Shatter ready. Gonna look for a chance to use it. There it is. Getting onto Dini and Invictus, and that's really all they need. If is despite him being laying down on the ground in front of them, and now gonna call out this tactical visor, picking up two already, almost getting user, but user able to get that resurrect off, picking up both of her tanks. And so they're at least stalling this fight out for a little longer, getting onto Savalo, getting that kill. But I don't think it's gonna be enough for them to actually take this point unless they're able to convert on more. Well, they do often coming back in, getting onto Lucy and removing Dini. Now Dini taken out by Terra. And so this is still a chance. Justin with the Primal Rage now getting a kill of his own onto Invictus. Ramon has to use his own Primal Rage just to stall out the point in the opposite direction now. And both teams just continuing to stall this out. But I mean, neither team really, really closing out on the kills. Blubber missing another Pulse Bomb. And I think the same corner that he missed the first one. But <sighs> Offnix is gonna get that kill onto Ramon when he dives in. Terra taken down as well. Lucy has this Resurrect available, but hasn't needed to use it yet, and this fight has been going on for so long. We're now up to 90%. Invictus coming back in and getting two with the... Uh, uh, oh, after rejoining the fight, the Self-Destruct thrown in there to try to zone. 
but both teams still keeping this fight going. The Resurrects are available. Tac Visor coming in from Invictor is going to be completely eaten up there by that defense matrix, uh, but zoning the point for a little longer. Opix once again getting on to Ramon, but they are not getting any kills other than that. Still holding on to this point is going to be Prismatic. Finally, the Llama with the Tac Visor calls it in for the side of Meta, and they finally look like they might be able to get something going here. Dini, though, getting picked back up by this Resurrect is going to be able to come back in with the mech, and so is Ramon. Ramon getting back out onto the point. He's just going to be, well, no, they're just going to back off and they're going to give it. That's probably a good call. Probably a good call. My ultimate is charging. But the regroup coming in now from Prismatic. All they've got is the Pulse Bomb, but uh, with, I mean, Blubber has not been making good use of that ultimate so far today. But it's going to be Invictus getting onto Kyle. They don't need ultimates when Invictus is on the Soldier 76. He is going to get that first kill and open things up for them. Uh, user with this Resurrect, though, can turn this around at any time. And both supports now gone for the side of Prismatic. Uh, good job by them coming in, not using any ults there. And just burning some ults out of the side of... Uh, of meta here now only going to be user with the resurrect terra getting close to that self-destruct but of course once terra uses that self-destruct invictus is able to use that attack visor in that time and so you can definitely see a whole lot happening here in this next fight we are going to see the dive coming in from ramon he needs to be wary of this reaper that is constantly watching for him uh but we do see uh, the attack visor now coming in from Invictus. He can be taken out before he can make anything happen with it. But user taken down as well. This is the operative prismatic needed. The self destruct does come in for Terra, but not able to get anything with it. Dini still has his self destruct and now going to be throwing it up in the air over the well. Is it going to fall in? No, it doesn't. It just misses. But Offnix now back in this fight trying to de suit Terra uh, Dini again. The sound barrier does save him. Him, and it's actually going to be Terra taken out of the mech. Dini does fall, but still all of these kills are coming in now for Prismatic. It does look like we're going to be at a 99-99 situation, but Prismatic winning this fight decisively. They aren't going to have anything major to deal with unless Kyle's able to stall this out for longer. He is able to stay alive for a few seconds, and yes, now we see Terra coming in, stalling out the point. Llama back in here on the tracer. They're at the very least going to get a few more seconds on this point, and here it is. The entire team coming in. User picking up two with that resurrect. Terra and Kyle both alive and Ramon falling into the pit this could be what they're looking for the user are going to be taken down early on so that might be all of the sustain gone in this fight but there's Dean out of the mech Opnix also taking a dive into the pit but Dean and Invictus taken down the sound barrier is available but if Dean and Invictus both get picked right back up the pulse bomb not getting anything out of it uh, Terra taken out of the mech, but still the fight dragging on on this point. Justin taken down, but this point still hasn't flipped over, and they're still stalling this out. Finally, it looks like they might be able to do it. Kyle, the last one, no, Kyle and Llama is still here. User swimming around the inside of the well right now, <laughs> trying to get back up and stall out this point a little bit longer. Here's Llama. Oh no! Oh, Llama. Kyle does get out of there. Kyle able to boop Invictus into the pit once he gets out. Now the sound barrier coming in. This fight is never going to end. Kyle does get taken down. Finally, it flips over. The self-destruct flung up in the air. But the overtime is still going just for the other side now. <laughs> Tara back in the mech trying to stall out and let the team get back in here. These are up to 70% on the old. Loose taken down, but there's Dini with a huge self-destruct picking up three. They're still stalling it out, and they've still got the win. Oh, user was taken down one to one. One to one in this, in this map. Holy cow. Prismatic evening things up there. <laughs> this is so epic. What is happening right now?
Oh man. All right, coming on into <laughs> the ruined stage. See if any 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 with what they've been running for the most part. Although Ramon is gonna be playing the Zarya as he is definitely kind of feeding off Nyx a little bit. Oh, but it's gonna be off Nyx immediately removed here. That Ramon wishes he was on the Winston now. He would have absolute free reign. Two kills already coming in for the side of Prismatic. User going down as well. So this will absolutely be Prismatic taking this point first here. And gonna start to build up with percentages as soon as they get all get back on the point here. And there he goes. Justin now playing Diva. Both teams electing to switch off of the uh the Reaper. Or sorry, the Winston rather, in order to answer the Reaper, I would say. Uh, but actually, we're going to see Optic swapping off the Reaper as well. He's going to be playing the Pharah. Yeah, Invictus coming in, trying to get some damage up and maybe get to his death loss. And he's very, very close. And he gets that kill onto Optic. Who says that Reaper doesn't counter Pharah? Well, ca Reaper counters ground Pharah. That was, that was the problem there. But that being said, we do see Invictus with this death loss from available the possibility to use it to shut down a, a Resurrect or anything that may come in uh, out of this this team. But now going to be getting onto, uh, onto user, just trying to remove her from the fight anyway. Now, that's what he was looking for, though. There is the Resurrect. Uh, he was able to bait that out, and uh, they are going to be able to hold on to this point still for a little longer. User fall, so they, they really are not able to get any sort of purchase. They got to back off at that point, regroup. It does look like Justin is going to do that, but he's trying to get back in his neck as well, and I think he's just going to die here. Yeah, there it is. Invictus taking him down, staggering that kill out a very long time, so it's going to be about 85% on the board before they're able to fully regroup. Llama going down as well. Now Invictus in the back, looking for the chance to use this death loss, and there it is. He's got everything he needs right in front of him. Uh, Invictus about to press triangle in a huge way, I would say. Uh, maybe not. Maybe he doesn't even need it. I, I, I think he's pretty confident that he can just walk forward and hold down R2, which is what he's doing right now. And <laughs> hasn't even needed to use that ultimate yet. 95% on the board here for Prismatic. Uh, this round looks very, very different than any of the other ones. Finally, uh, Invictus uses that ultimate. All of the ultimates finally being thrown out, but I don't think it's going to be nearly enough here for Meta to come back in and retake this point. Uh, they do have a little bit of stall coming in, as that has been the name of this series so far. But yeah, it's going to be Justin and Terra falling there on the point. Uh, no one going to be able to touch and continue this overtime. Now, Prismatic turning it around. They're up 2-1 to one right now on Ilios. All right, getting things started. We're back onto the uh, the well here for our fourth round, and as I said, this this matchup has been incredibly intense between these two teams. And uh, I mean, either one of them that goes on to the finals uh, next is going to be very very much deserving it. Um, But yeah, it does look like Offnix is electing to go onto the Soldier 76 now uh, and, and maybe have a little bit more ranged answer, but that's not going to work for him. He's going to be taken out immediately there by this Tracer, and they are going to be able to... Uh, oh, we're probably going to be able to see Prismatic getting set up on this point here yet again. Kyle does get that boop onto Invictus, and Lucy falling as well, so despite taking this point, we might see Prismatic lose it pretty quickly here. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it does look like that that boop onto uh, onto Invictus might have been the game changer there. But there's a huge pulse bomb from Blubber picking up two with it and keeping the team alive in this fight. And they're going to continue to build up this percentage and get these spawns back on the point. Invictus coming back in on the Reaper, staying very, very clear of that well, getting onto Offnix immediately, now going to take User out as well. And this... 
a very good turnaround here uh, from the side of Prismatic, largely a huge pulse bomb. Lucy is having a hard time staying alive right now, and user already being up to that resurrect, uh, despite Lucy only having 70% built up towards it. And so, they're gonna have to do a better job of keeping her alive if they want to make good use out of that ultimate, but that being said, they're still holding on to this point, 56% and charging here, and they've got the ult they need to hold on to it, I would say. They've got the self-destruct ready to go, as well as the sound barrier and the pulse bomb. If Lover can hit another good one, uh, doesn't manage to make anything happen with it there, but uh, they are still stalling this out, building up percentage. Now the self-destruct can be thrown in, not going to get anything with that either. There's a whole lot of ultimates being thrown out for nothing, not really much setup being used for it. Lucy now being focused very hard by Justin, but Justin immediately erased by Invictus, and this should be what Prismatic needs. The attack buys are coming in, but gonna be met with a lot of shielding and a defensive matrix, and this is absolutely what Prismatic was looking for. They're gonna get all of these kills in this Graviton. Llama coming in, throwing in a Graviton on his own. User now with the, uh, the Resurrect, and actually Terra with the Dragon Blade picking up two. But Lucy still has her own Resurrect. There it is. Picks up three with it. They don't have Invictus alive anymore, though. And that might be the difference maker. Yeah, Lucy gonna fall to that Primal Rage from Justin. And so this does look like it's going to be a chance for Meta to come in and take this point. The Pulse Blubber not able to find the same success, but at the very least, they are stalling this out still and getting that boop onto Llama into the pit. They, Ramon back on the point. No, Justin going in too. Simwalo absolutely putting in a play of the game of submission right there, picking up two with a boop. Then Kyle going right back, picking up two of his own. These Lucios are changing the game right now. Sinlalo still alive though, still a danger. And they do manage to take out Terra, who's now swapped onto the Doomfish just to get back to point faster. It's still 99% in overtime, but both teams stalling this out as long as possible. Llama alive on the point as Tracer doing everything he can. Opnix coming back in, getting close to this tactical visor, desperately, desperately trying to get it up so that he can keep his team in this fight. They are gonna have to deal with this defense matrix though. Ramon taken down low by this Doomfist and actually gonna be knocked off by the uppercut. Opnix with the attack visor, he is ready to use it at any time, I would say, but he's gonna be focused. The pulse bomb thrown out, not gonna be able to get him. Now Opnix trying to stay alive, gets the mercy pocket. He is still getting these skills still keeping his team in this fight offnix getting behind this enemy diva now looking for a chance to use this defense uh, this attack visor maybe not even trying to use it gets off the point c9 c9 oh prismatic evening up the series now <clears throat> one to one holy cow good lord heroes never die Lucy with an absolutely massive five-man res. That was right after the three-man res from user.